Good day friends and welcome to another Mesh Mixer tutorial. The first video I created showed how to add supports. Now we're going to show you how to split an item up if it happens to be a plate. So I am a big fan of this Cube Gears 2-3 that was created by Emmett a long time ago. But one of the fun things you can do is print it in two colors and then it just looks much slicker. Unfortunately, the design right now is on Thingiverse as a plate, which means you print the whole thing all at once, and then when you're done, you assemble it. Uh, that's fine. It does work. But if you only need one piece, well, then it's a drag. Let me show you how to clean it up quick so you only have the piece that you want. All right, so to get rid of a part, switch to the Select tool, and then click on the ones that you want to remove. I'm only touching them a little bit. And I'm going to just keep this one large piece. And then I'm going to hit the letter E to select everything. And I'm going to hit delete. I've still got the select tool on. And this time I'm going to just draw a line that touches all those. I didn't mean to get this one. So I'm going to do control Z to undo. I'm going to hit S for select this time. Show you a shortcut. I'm going to touch again. Notice it just barely brushed all of those. And I can hit E to select everything and hit delete and I'm down to just the one part I wanted. At this point I can do file export. I like to do STL binary format. I'm going to put them in my 3D modeling and then I'm going to put this as the 2-3 large uh, part. Now if you wanted another part check this out. If you just do a couple of undos, there's my control Z's, I can get everything back I'm going to hit escape on that accidental click. I'm going to hit S for select. And this time I'm going to save a small one. So I've just touched all those. Hit E and delete. I'm going to touch these three. Nope, too many. So control Z or I'm going to hit clear selection. Let's try this again. S for select. Let's see if I can get those. Nope, still too many. Control Z. Let's be a little more patient and just do the clicks. E. Delete. Now I'm going to drag across them all, E, and delete. And then now I can export that piece the same way. File export, still binary, and this is still the 2-3 cube, but this one is a small part. And then I like to print lots of the pins, so I'm going to do Control z again and again to get back. And this time I'm going to select everything so that I don't mind having this whole row. And I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to select the center, click it once, hit E, and delete. And now I can do a stack of pins by just doing file export as well. And I'm going to call these cube pins. And that, my friends, is how you can use Mesh Mixer to select the parts you care about on a large plate and then turn them into the parts that you want to print as a simple STL. If this movie did help you, please hit that like button. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, please add them in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, friends. Have a great day.